Hey guys, it's your boy Affliction Builder, and uh, I just want to go over a couple things for men today about you know beard grooming and uh, you know getting a little older. Um, Forty, I'll be forty-nine here coming up, May thirteenth, and um, sometimes what happens, get a little older, I start to get like a little bit of gray hairs. Um, in my beard and sometime with the grade in the mix uh, the beard just doesn't seem to look as thick as it normally would you know if it was fully colored so a lot of times if, if your beard is a little gray or isn't as dark or as natural or whatever as you wanted to make it you could get this just for men product for men and uh, it's for mustache and beards and it basically, you know, darkens the tone of it. You know, they got it from blonde, brown, medium brown, all the way to black, you know, jet black. And so, um, you know, it's pretty easy. It usually lasts about, I don't know, two and a half, three weeks. But, it, you know, as your hair grows, you got to cut it. And that cuts some of it out, so... Basically, I just want to show you guys what comes in the kit. If you never did this before, it's pretty easy. Basically, you got a mixing tray they give you. Um, you got an applicator, basically puts it into, you brush it into the hair, okay? And then you get two tubes, comes with, uh, one is the color color dye and the other is basically the activator and what I usually do is I just mix the two okay and just equal amounts and sometimes with my beard I may be able to get uh, you know uh, two doses out of this or two shots out of this so I just put a little color in okay and then I'll save this for you know about two weeks I could I could probably get away with using it again and then I just use the actuator okay. and then I put the same amount in here you know same amount of actuator and the color base alright so then once I have that what I like to do is just mix this up okay two of these together you just you just gotta blend it not rocket science here it's pretty easy you just want to blend it really good so you get a uh, good consistent color and application Alright, and when, once you get it mixed pretty good, then what I'll do is I'll just dip the brush part of it in. And then I've, it does tend to burn a little bit if you want ahead of time where your edge of your beard is. If you want to put like a little Vaseline in some of those skin areas so it doesn't touch the skin. But it doesn't aggravate it enough uh, that I need to do that all the time. I just uh, deal with it a little bit. But... I try to start, you know, where the uh, latest areas are at. This is fairly dark, my goatee area, but a lot of time the beard gets a little lighter. So I try to put it on the grayer or the lighter areas first so I get the most... you know, concentration of color going to hit those lighter areas of the beard. And then you just, you, you rub it in and then uh, I, I move it to, you know, some of the, uh, 
little later areas here, the goatee. And then the mustache. And then make sure when you get the mustache that you not only get inside, but sometimes you miss the tips of the hair. So you get the uh, the top part, but the, the middle part will be a little lighter. And like I say, sometimes, you know, you could let it go if you want it a little lighter during the summer or something like that. It's just your personal preference. Now the thing I've noticed about this is that you know no matter what color you get if you get light brown through medium brown through black I notice if you leave the light brown or the medium brown on basically the longer you let it sit in your beard and actuate the darker it gonna, it's going to get. So that even if it says light brown if you leave it on more than like 5-10 minutes you'll get like a really darker brown because you're leaving it in there and it's dying the hair, you know. So, I, li I like to get it fairly dark that way during the week when I work or I shave. Um, you know, I still I still have the pig I still have the pigmentation in it. Um, and, it and it lasts a little longer. So here yeah, you just run this through. And like I said, in, in a couple minutes you'll notice it'll get a it'll get a little bit darker. And uh, hopefully I can try to capture that. And like I said, if you have some areas that are really dark, like if I do this in another couple of weeks, this here will probably stay fairly dark, but this may get lighter. Because typically on the edges, you know, I use like a one, whereas this, the bottom, I may use a one and a half. So if we're using a one, this is going to get deeper and get cut off during the week. So a lot of times this is the lightest part, and then this will stay fairly dark because it isn't getting cut as often. Okay, so... Just, you know, you just got to blend it. But it's not that hard to do after you, after you do it a couple times. There's everybody wanted me to flex a little more. There's a little bicep shot for you guys out there. But. So you'll notice around the skin, you can see where it's kind of in my skin. I get a little dry. Don't worry about that because basically when you're ready, I basically just take a, a, a washcloth and then wet it a little bit. And I just keep going over it till it, it, it cleans the, uh, the dye off the skin. And uh, so it's pretty good. So you can see it's on there pretty good. There's all the, see that I used all that and there's not much left there. And uh, you know now it's just a matter of letting it uh, stay in there and uh, you know working for you guys. Just let it sit a little bit and then I'll show you another trick uh, that I like to use to uh, do this even better. I think I saw the old bodybuilder Rich Piana because I used to follow him a lot before he passed away. Um, and I saw him doing it. One day he was in his bathroom getting ready for a show and uh, I noticed he did a little trick 
And what I notice, the best way to do this too, is that once you see that it's getting a little dark, I take a regular comb. And then, you basically comb, and then you're, you're, you're getting every hair, and you'll see the, uh, if you can see that stuff on there, that's the dye, see how that is. And then what I'll do is I'll take another bit of that dye, and then I'll rub it back into the beard. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll comb that little T. And then a lot of times I'll go back to the front and just kind of make sure it's getting, uh, uh, you know, dyed evenly, if you will. And as you, and as it wipes off on the comb, Again, I just wipe it back into the beard. And you can see now, the beard is getting a lot, a lot darker, you know what I mean, than it was a little while ago. And, uh, it just, and you'll see it looks fuller. I mean, once you get it dark like that, it makes a nice full contour and then you could trim it and it looks really clean because I noticed when I first started growing the beard and it came in kind of grayish it had patches and it just looked like a lot of dirt doesn't look as clean and uh, detailed and uh, manicured so I learned this and uh, yeah so now I just basically wait and once, you know, it reaches the, uh, the darkness you want, then you could simply go in there. And bear in mind, too, it's getting real dark now, okay? But once I wash it out, you know, you're going to lose some of this darkness. So you got to kind of play with it a little bit and, you know, you may want to leave a little more because once you take it out, it'll stay dark, but you're going to lose some of that. And uh, you may want to learn from like what it washes out to as far as the color. But yeah, that's just, all you got to do is comb it up and down to make sure all them little hairs and bristles get the right amount of color on it. But uh, yeah, I, I just like it a little darker now. You know, I just think it looks fuller. I think it completes the look. You know what I mean? And uh, you just look, you look a lot cleaner than you would just having a whole bunch of patches all over your face. Um, so anyways, that's about it. And then uh, I'll leave this on a little bit longer and then I'll, uh, you know, this washes off too. You don't worry if you get the dye in your hand. It washes off with soap and water. And I typically would take your shirt off because, you know, if you have a shirt, you're gonna get the dye on your t-shirt and a lot of times if I know I'm going to take a shower, just do this before I take a shower and then just wash off with soap and water, you know, while I'm in there. Or just do it over the sink. But <clears throat> anyways, just figured I would share this with you, anybody. It's very simple to do. Um, you know, it's not hard and definitely will give you a different look if you're going on stage posing or something like that or you're just going out for the evening. Uh, makes your beer look a lot fuller so uh, cool man appreciate it guys I will catch you next time and I'll bring you something new from the affliction builder peace out